Are you tired of being tethered to one carrier, paying high fees just to use your own phone? Most people think unlocking a phone requires complicated software or paying hundreds. I'll show you the exact step-by-step -step method to remove that carrier lock permanently, giving you instant network freedom. Get ready to take back control of your device. Before we continue, I need to give you a quick but important legal heads up. Before we dive into the methods, a quick but important note. Removing carrier locks involves interacting with device software and carrier agreements. This information is provided strictly for educational purposes to help users understand legitimate processes. Always ensure you are legally entitled to unlock your device and comply with all local laws and your carrier's terms of service. We are not liable for any misuse or unintended consequences to your device. Proceed responsibly. Speaking of solutions, if you're looking for a streamlined ethical way to handle this, let me introduce you to Unlocksy. This trusted platform safely removes carrier locks, giving you back control of your smartphone. Let me show you how easy their carrier lock removal app is to use. Imagine you have a Samsung phone, though it works across Android, iOS, and others. And when you insert a new SIM, it refuses to connect. Now watch the app. Once inside, you select your device brand, input your IMEI number, agree to the terms, and hit unlock my phone now. However, there's a catch. Unlocksy currently has a significant waitlist due to high demand. We've secured an exclusive invite link for our viewers to bypass this queue. To get immediate access, you must press the join button below this video, select the membership that includes Unlocksy access, and then navigate to the membership tab to find your invite link and create your account. This works best on a computer. After submitting, you can track the progress in real time. It might take a few hours up to two days. As you can see here, after just four hours, the unlock completed. Putting the SIM back in confirms full reception. If you want this immediate access, hit the join button now, select the right membership, and use the creator invite link. Optionally, if you prefer not to handle the submission yourself, sending a super thanks of $5 or more under this video allows me to personally submit the IMEI for you. All right, now that you know about that powerful tool, let's dive into the official, often overlooked, hidden method that works directly through your carrier. And the very first step which many people skip is determining your eligibility and gathering the necessary paperwork. This is crucial because we are aiming for the official IMEI Unlock, which is permanent and bypasses risky third-party software. The first thing you need is your phone's IMEI number. You can find this by dialing star number 06 number on your device or checking the original box or your phone settings. Now here's the interesting part. We need to tackle the surprising eligibility requirements. Most people assume you must have paid off your device completely. While that's the easiest path, you might already qualify if A, your contract term has been fulfilled even if you are still on a monthly payment plan. B, the device is not reported lost, stolen, or associated with fraud. And C, you have been an active customer for a minimum period, often 60 days, even if you are switching to a prepaid plan. We need to discover the one official method guaranteed to unlock your phone directly through your carrier. Knowing these details beforehand streamlines the entire process and prevents unnecessary back and forth with customer service. Keep this IMEI handy, you'll need it for the next step. Now that we have our IMEI and we've verified we meet the basic criteria, it's time for step two, contacting your current carrier for the unlock request. This is where many users fail because they ask the wrong questions. Do not ask, can you unlock my phone? Instead, you need to specifically request an IMEI based network unlock authorization. This is the crucial difference between a SIM unlock and an IMEI unlock we must cover. A SIM unlock might be temporary or tied to a specific service, but an IMEI unlock registers the device as permanently unlocked on the global database, which is what we want. When you call, be polite but firm. Reference their published unlock policy. Most major carriers have these publicly available online. If the first representative says no, politely ask to speak to a supervisor or someone in the device support or technical assistance department as they often have higher authorization levels. Remember, they are trained to handle these requests, but sometimes you need someone with more authority. Document the date, time, and the name of the representative you spoke with. This documentation is your leverage if the process stalls. This official request is the key to ethical unlocking. Building on that, once your request is approved, you move into step three following carrier instructions, and the carrier will typically respond via email or text message. This response will contain either a specific unlock code or instructions for a remote unlock. For older feature phones, you might receive a 16-digit code. For modern smartphones, especially iPhones and newer Androids, the process is usually remote. The carrier submits the unlock request to the manufacturer's database, which then signals your phone to accept new SIMs. This leads directly into step four, executing the unlock. If you received a code, you will typically insert a SIM card from a different carrier. 
the phone will prompt you to enter the unlock code. Enter it carefully. Most devices only allow a few incorrect attempts before permanently locking the input field. If the unlock was remote, simply power down your device, insert the new non-affiliated SIM card, and power it back on. If successful, you should see the new carrier's name appear in the status bar within moments. We must walk through the exact steps to verify your phone's unlock status immediately after the process is complete, ensuring you aren't scammed or left with a device that only seems unlocked. This verification is the final hurdle before you enjoy your freedom. Now that we've covered the core steps, let's address the inevitable roadblocks in step five. Troubleshooting common issues. Uh, the most frequent problem is receiving an invalid code error during step four. If this happens, double check that you entered the code correctly and that your phone is indeed locked to the carrier you told the representative. If you're certain, contact the carrier immediately, stating the error code you received. Another common issue, especially with remote unlocks, is the phone still showing SIM not supported. This usually means the carrier submitted the request, but the manufacturer database hasn't fully updated. Wait 24 hours and try the SIM swap again. Crucially, verifying the unlock status is non-negotiable. To verify, insert a SIM from a completely different network than your original and your new one if possible. If the phone connects and allows you to make a test call, the IMEI unlock is successful. If you are using an iPhone, you can check settings general about. If the carrier lock field says no SIM restrictions, you are golden. If you encounter persistent issues, this is the point where considering a reputable paid service like the one mentioned earlier might save you hours of frustration, provided you've exhausted the official route first. Before we move forward to the conclusion, let's quickly revisit the alternative solution for those who hit a wall with the official process. Unloxy offers a trusted platform for ethical carrier lock removal. If you have your IMEI, you simply use their Carrier Unlock app, select your device brand, input the IMEI, and submit the unlock request. Remember, there's a wait list, but using the exclusive Join button under this video grants you immediate access by skipping the queue. After submission, you track the progress until the unlock completes, allowing you to instantly use any SIM card, just as I demonstrated. Finally, let's wrap everything up and talk about what to do next. So to finish up, the hidden method to bypass carrier lock isn't magic. It's understanding the official IMEI unlock process and knowing the eligibility loopholes. We covered verifying your IMEI, communicating precisely with your carrier to request the IMEI unlock authorization, and executing the final SIM swap. Remember, patience is key during the 24 to 48 hour processing window. If the official route fails despite your best efforts, explore reputable services that work directly with the carrier databases for your carrier unlock. Take back control of your device today. If this guide saved you time, please hit that like button, subscribe for more tech freedom hacks, and let me know in the comments which carrier you successfully unlocked from. Your feedback helps others immensely. Quick disclaimer, Unlock Z is a third party platform. I'm only providing the invite link. I don't own, run, or control the service. All support, account issues, and platform policies are handled by Unloxy. Your use of the platform is subject to Unloxy's terms and privacy policy, and I'm not responsible or liable for any performance issues, outages, account actions, charges, data use, or losses that may occur while using their service. Thanks again for being part of the crew, and happy unlocking.